Hey everybody, this is Keith Chug. This is a quick video to introduce the videos produced by students for their projects in the Spring 2020 Deep Learning class here at the Ming Shei Department of Electrical and Computer Engineering. This class is a special topics class, second time we're offering it, but it's also going to be part of our revised master's degree program in machine learning and data science, which is a new program that we've uh, established here at USC and we're very excited about. So let me tell you a little bit about the project process in that class, what the students did. They had three to four weeks to do this. They formed teams themselves. Each team was assigned a mentor. They turned in a proposal. They got comments. They turned in a revised proposal. After three or four weeks of work, they presented at this deep learning symposium that was held through a video conference because of the COVID situation. And then a week later, they wrote a report, turned that in. And a day after that, the last thing they turned in was a five to 10 minute video, which is uh, the videos that you'll see in the playlist that follow this. These are the sessions that the projects occurred in. We had about 84 students, which worked out to be 35 uh, project teams. I wanted to thank uh, AWS Educate for providing uh, cloud compute credits that allowed the students to work with large data sets and state-of-the-art GPUs, uh, not only in their projects, but also in several of their homework assignments as we scaled up the scope of the problems. Also like to thank our department, the Ming Shea Department of ECE at USC for providing a, a lot of support in this process. Okay, so here are some of the project awards. We had 35 projects, as I mentioned. These are the best uh, projects by category as selected by the TAs and myself. You can see we, we had one for best presentation, for best report, best video, and most creative application. The most creative application was a uh, scene description project where they can point a uh, camera at a scene and have it read out by a speech synthesizer, which is was a cool idea. The uh, following three projects received our, what we called the <clears throat> Best Deep Learning Design Award. And these are teams that really got the most mature results out of their project uh, by following uh, what we talked about during the class, ideas of uh, data set design, network architecture optimization, loss function design, and training process optimization. So each of these teams got very nice results by doing a very careful job of those uh, aspects of the process. And then uh, the different projects go from sort of going out and learning about a topic, topic that we didn't cover in depth in the class uh, to applications and working you know, with uh, some publicly available code and augmenting it as needed, all the way to uh, several of the PhD students choose to do kind of research-oriented projects. So here's a couple of research-oriented projects that we decided to recognize from uh, mostly PhD students. Okay, and then the best overall project we awarded to another group of PhD students that was working on that were working on the uh, uh, approximation of trained neural networks with uh, more interpretable uh, soft decision trees. So they did a nice job on that from beginning to end, from their proposal all the way through to their video. So check that out. All right, before I end this, I just wanted to thank our TAs. We had uh, the equivalent of six 25% TAs, so six 25% TA at USC is 10 hours a week. So Quan Wen and Oliver were 50%, they were doubled up. And then Arnav and Jolly were 25%. This is their second year for Arnav and Jolly, second offering of the course where they participated. They all did a great job, worked very carefully with our students all the way through the process. Um, uh, this course has a significant amount of mathematical components and conceptual aspects that we go through and then also a lot of hands-on programming. And so students come in with different backgrounds. Uh, some are great programmers, some are great at math. And uh, so we get everybody up to the same speed, hopefully by the end of the class, and the TAs are critical in that. So if you're thinking about coming to grad school and you're interested in uh, machine learning and deep learning, uh, take a look at USC. This is the kind of uh, courses that we're developing now. And as I mentioned, this is part of our new master's degree program in electrical engineering. 
in the area of machine learning and data sciences. Have fun, check out the videos, and we'll talk to you later.